Hello everyone and welcome to the Ratchet Gladiator Let's Play on PlayStation 3. Last time we killed the Mantis. He was small and he's just standing still, that's probably a glitch or an error. But whatever, we won. We have the Vindicator rank and now we'll go to the next planet. I think it's called uh, Agedix or whatever. No, oh, the planet's stickier. It's very sticky. This challenge takes you to the temp Tempest control station high above planet Stygia. Find your way through a raging meteor shower and Dread Zone's Minus and Minus to reactivate the planet's meteor shield. You know, when they say reactivate, they actually deactivate it just to make this challenge. I I just know they did. Or else they wouldn't just say reactivate. They must have just shut it down. And now the planet is in danger. Tonight on Vox, it's a very special episode of Dread Zone. Planet Stygia. It's a world ravaged by continual meteor storms. Why, if not for Stygia's powerful defense shield, the entire planet would be decimated in a matter of hours. But somebody dismantled the shield's power supply. Who would do such a horrible thing to the poor people of Stygia? I don't know, but it sure makes for good reality HB. <laughs> Stay tuned for the hottest episode of Dread Zone yet. And if you live on Stygia, the last one. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely not Gleam and Fox. I, I swear, this guy is very honest. I can't believe it can be him. No way. Planet Stygia, a beautiful world with pink sand beaches, friendly service, and giant meteor storms pummeling the surface. We're live from the Tempest Control Station, thousands of feet above the ground, where powerful meteor shields protect the people below. But not today, because we've turned them off. Can Team Darkstar destroy the jamming devices and save Stygia? Only time will tell in this final round, as the fate of an entire planet rests in their hands. Ratchet, you will have to use the land stopper to destroy the power units on either side of the force field. You must hurry. The people of Stygia are in danger. Yes or no. But you know, if meteor showers just occasionally come to their planet, isn't it a bit dangerous to live on it? I mean, they have their shield, but seriously, it must have been a pain to just look out for the shield and see if it's, uh, if it's just a uh, top notch. Because if it isn't, then they're all literally in danger without this. I wonder if many other planets have these kinds of uh, situ situations or routines where just something very bad is coming from the skies. Maybe they're living next to an asteroid belt or maybe just somewhere that has a bunch of asteroids. And there's just so many meteor showers that's just coming at you. Seriously, it must be really hard to just live on the planet yeah, with these kinds of uh, irritating things just coming at you. But other than that, I think this is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite planets in this game, mostly just because we're fighting on the sky, and it looks kind of gritty and very dangerous. And there's so many, and there's some other missions that I really favor. Like the ones where you have to uh, protect the shield while there are a bunch of enemies coming at you. Okay, I have to destroy that thing. Skilled warrior. Oh wow, now I'm a skilled warrior? You shouldn't. Okay, I'm just gonna stand on this and... Oh man, I just healed myself. Go irritate someone else. Ha, drop that. It must be because I, uh, I destroyed a lot of drop shield, uh, drop ships. Now, there are a bunch more of them. Thank you. That's definitely what I needed. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a review of all the Resident Clank games, including this one. I, don't, I can't for sure say when it's going to happen, but it'll definitely happen. Because I'm just, I just want to explain everything about uh, what I've seen in this game in my last place. About Gleam and Fox and what he has done to other planets and... You know, some of these weapon doors that I have uh, 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 read. Because I find them all very interesting. It kind of tells us what kind of main Gleam and Fox is. I mean, he. But from what I've seen, he might be one of the meanest or maybe 
one of the worst enemies the Ratchet has ever met. This guy holds no bars when it comes to clean uh, to the Dread Zone. He wants his show to be successful. So now he's going just going to terrorize every single planet that he sees fit for his challenge. And that's what makes him such an evil a businessman. Just like Chairman Drag. He wants to destroy many many planets just to create his new one. Why he why can't he just Oh no. I'm I'm broken. Okay, there might be only one No way, I have to I have to start all over again? No. Okay, the game is going to get a lot harder on me right now. Now be careful. But seriously, uh, Chairman Drag is also one of the worst because he destroys a, almost many planets as possible just to create a new one. And I was just thinking, why can't he just uh, keep and steal one planet and then live there? But no. The reason, the reason is because of uh, the pollution and blark that he wants to destroy many of Okay, maybe, but the reason he does all, all this is because of money. We've got to have money. And because of that, he, he polluted his own planet. And because of this excuse, he just is destroying many other planets just because of money. And not really just because he wants to create a new one. Well, maybe that's one of the reasons, but the biggest reason is because of money. And that is very sickening. He destroyed thousands of lives, or maybe thousands of lives whole. So now he's just getting a lot of money, all this for himself, and that is just... That is, a, that is just pure greed. What kind of chairman is he? Well, at least he's dead. I mean, he crashed into this planet that he that he very he created himself, ironically, and we blasted that planet with him. So yeah, so Nana Galaxy was saved uh, twice now, uh, for Ratchet and Clank. So Nana Galaxy, it, it's their home galaxy, you know, Planet Belden. Man, I can't wait to just finish this off already because. I'm already all overwhelmed. And for some reason they don't even use a Ravager. I've this this is something I've also noticed. By the time they don't even use the Ravager anymore, and that's a little worrying and a little annoying because that means I can't use some of some of my most powerful arsenals that uh, I have, my secret weapon. And the only way to dodge some of these attacks is just by jumping. There's a lot more coming. Man! Okay, yeah, this is gonna keep destroying them. I have to sometimes go back because I'm very worried that I'm just going to get blown off again. That's a second. Oh no, not that one. And not him! Okay, still alive, and now this damn turret. Oh my gosh, it gave me so much damage. Okay, get destroyed. I'm very tired of you guys. Okay, maybe I should just rush in and... Okay, no, forget it. Oh, forget about it. I'm just gonna go and... Come on, come on! Yes! Don't come back! Okay, I finished the first mission. Took me some time, but I did it. Talk about bad luck. Team Darkstar has damaged the control tower. The shields are down. The shields are down. Was that too dramatic? Wasn't that on purpose? Or what? Looks like Team Darkstar will have to turn Oh, whatever. So it's time to do the mission. Uh, okay, I don't feel like buying any of these stuff. I don't really need any more mods. Alright, uh, just gonna use this. And now the color is... I'm trying to get it close to the Vindicator. But it looks... 
it still looks pretty red, but it's fine because orange and red are very close color. And now it's your turn, and you- oh no, not you. Get the- get blown. Get freaking blown. How about this one? Yes, he was destroyed by one of my weaker weapons. But yes, Stygia can be a pretty hard challenge. But you probably uh, survived this. But yeah, I'm still playing the hero mode, so maybe that's why it got a little bit harder. By the time you're actually upgrading your health, it may not get as hard as before. Like, at the beginning of every uh, game set hard in difficulty, it always gets so impossibly hard that you may think, Can I even get through all this? But it is possible. It just takes a bit of time to actually figure this out. Or maybe it just takes some strategy like in JRPG. In hard mode, they can get uh, hard as hell. One of the games, for example, I played was very hard at, at the beginning. That was Persona Q2. You may not hear anything about the game, but that is said to be the last major Nintendo 3DS game. And I really, really love this game. Like, if, uh, like the story in that, it is really good. But, okay, and now it's just talking about something else, but... Seriously, just buy it, if you can find it. It, it may be pretty hard, but just try it out, uh, if you can. Um... Oh no! Boom! And you too! Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. All of them with this fusion rifle. Yeah. And now I gotta heal myself. Come on, get to work, Merc. Okay, one more to go, and I'm free at last. Well, not yet. Uh, and this one, yeah. What the? Okay, I gotta survive this. This one! Yeah! And... Okay, there's the guard. No! Okay, one more left. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm just gonna ignore the rest. Okay, it's so upgrade to level 2. Maybe that means... Yeah, that means it's going to hold a bit longer time. Wow, only 12 seconds. Okay, I've gotta rely on this weapon because I'm almost toast. Not toast toast. I mean toast toast toast. Even though it doesn't heal it that much. Uh, okay, this one. Please help me, Arbiter. You're my only hope. Oh yeah. Now I'm just gonna grind all the way. Yeah, alright. Oh, yeah, okay, just using this, and I'm secured. Man, I can't believe the whole shoe can actually help me that much. Yeah! Okay, I beat the challenge! Uh, wait, I didn't quite hear that. Poor Ratchet, he's got a hover ship with no place to go. After recalibrating the lightning collectors, the next step was to hack the control points on the shield's core. Bingo, bango, the shields are up. Too bad the station's core took a direct hit. Too bad the radiation's everywhere. Too bad I said bingo, bango, who writes this junk? Sir, Merc and I will go. Yeah, okay. So, I, what I'm just gonna do is destroy some of these uh, robots while they're trying to uh, hack the, the shields. We have to get all the shields up so that the citizens can survive and, and live in peace. And man, Merc and Green is gonna get up, get blown up without me. Just look at them. I have to revive them every time. Do your job, guys. Okay, now I'm just gonna hack this one. At least I got this. Uh, at least I bought these upgrades that makes them able to survive some hits. So I'll still. Or else they have to rely on me and my revive every time they get hit by one cannon shot. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they also hit way over there. But you know, that that sound there, that techno sound, it, I don't really know where it comes from, but I hear that many times, like in Ratchet and Clank, and then also in Ben 10. But I think it's some kind of same uh, techno sound uh, sample that you can uh, use every time. Like everyone can use it somehow. But I don't really know what that what the name of that sound is, and I really want to uh, find it, but I, I don't know where it comes from. That was good though. You know, right at the beginning was that. Okay, I don't really know how it's, uh, how I can describe it, but yeah. Okay, just one more to go. Excellent work. And Steve finished. You can't stop a Be adapt and survive. Woo, I'm so proud of these guys. Oh no! Dreadzone has launched an all-out assault on the shield generator! If Team Darkstar doesn't fend off the attack, the people of Stygia will be flattened like a pancake with syrup and butter and a little orange garnish! Oh no! Can I have breakfast for dinner? That's just weird. Oh, right! Stygia, Team Darkstar, and Dreadzone bad guys. Uh-huh, I'm on it. Seriously, the guy who voices Dallas is so good at this. See, he... he's very funny. Okay, he's very close to level 6. Come on, level 6, I need it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. Every time the, the weapons are leveling up, there's supposed to be this red glow in the background, but now it's pitch black. I've seen that on the PS2 version, and yeah, where, where is it? Where is the red glow? Now it's completely gone. But yeah, we have to defend uh, the shield. Because if it gets destroyed, then, the, then all the citizens will get killed. And turn into pancake with uh, syrup and strawberries. Okay, what? whatever he said. Uh, what the heck happened here? Oh yes, hot seat. I mean, it's because I'm using this mod. There's a lot more robots here. And the soundtracks for this challenge is pretty good. Like, it's almost like a desperation for survival. And that's what it says, shield survival. Like, you have to try and defend yourself and the shield. While there's so much uh, chaos coming at you. But holy moly, there's so much chaos! Just gonna spam my uh, hunter mine, and there's a lot more coming, darling. And now it's a level eight. Wow. Okay, I also gotta upgrade this one. Oh yeah, I totally forgot it has the acid mod, but I think it's better because the acid mod can also do a lot of damage. For the meantime. Like, okay, maybe I shouldn't underestimate it just because it's the first mod you get. It gets pretty good. Okay, what else should I use? This one? It's close to level 3. Yes, take that, mate. And now it's level 3. I just keep upgrading my weapons. And also use this one. It's very close to level 7. Yeah, it was close, and we got the black metal. I believe it's the highest one. The The last one was gold, I think. And now we can do all the challenges, right? No, we can't. Okay. I also forgot to do uh, something else, because there were other challenges in the Vindicator uh, tournament, so I would just want to go there and finish them off. Well, home sweet home, and boy, it's just not sweet. So let's just go to the Battle Dome and do some of these challenges. Well, I don't know if they're actually there, but let's just check. Oh yeah, the first challenge in the stage, yeah, it may be kind of worried because I thought that we could just... I thought we can we don't need to do the others just because we destroyed uh, a part of the, the shield. But yeah, we have to do this in the, anyway. 
this just in, folks. The Tower of Power has been totally re-engineered by our very own Red Zone interns. And these guys are idiots. They have a hard time boiling water, let alone designing an arena challenge. Team Darkstar is in serious trouble. Why did you... Why did you... Um, why did you hire them to do this, though? Oh, wait. Aren't they actually robots? Why did you make them like this? And why do I have to suffer through all this? Well, okay, I was about to jump. So yeah, we have to climb up to the Tower of Power again. Shut up! I don't want to hear that! Oh, another uh, dropship. I'm so scared. Boom! Oh! Okay, now it's destroyed. And I have to go way over there. But yeah, every time I'm just coming here and just thinking uh, how how much stronger my or how high level my weapons are or my uh, my health point, because I thought I was, go I was going to be get unstoppable no matter what. Yeah, like that. Now it's a level seven. That's good. It's always good to just take all these challenges because I honestly, for the first time I played the game, I totally forgot that you could do other challenges in this uh, in the Battle Dome after the tournaments. I always forget that, and I think that's why some some of my weapons are a bit under power. Oh no! Okay, they almost killed me. All right. Okay, just gonna jump now. Come on! Yes, I made it. All right. Um. All right. Okay, this is going to get a little risky. I uh, thought I can't survive so many more hits, so I have to be very careful now. Yeah, I made it. Yes. Okay, I reached the tower power. Now all I have to do is survive this. Whoa. Oh no 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 no! Ha ha! I have the shield. What can you do about that? Oh, you can just walk through that. Of course you can. Wow! If it wasn't for the shield, I would I would be dead. Okay, she's gonna keep fire at him. Yes. Okay, I survived. I survived. Yay! Oh, and look at how many dread points I got. I'm so dreadful. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Yeah, I'm just gonna use the mech mechanic. You deserve some firepower, don't you? Oh yeah, I have to do all of them green, I believe. Yes, okay. So it's just gonna go up. Okay, now it's just gonna go way over there. And now it's just gonna use some of my other weapons. Come on. Yeah. Like, I'm very close to actually beat the game right now. I just need to do up to... I've actually counted, and I have to do up to part 15 to actually beat the whole game. You know, up to the final boss. And I believe this is not gonna take a long time to do. I just need to do a few more planets, and then I'm done with. And, honest, and honestly, I'm having so much fun playing this game again. The thing I really love about Resident playing games is that it never gets old, no matter how many times of, uh, you're playing them. In my opinion, because you get so many weapons, and you visit so many planets, and it just never gets old. Even at the f very first game, it's just very fun. From start to finish. Okay, I have to shoot some of them. Yes, just gonna do that. Oh, okay, there are a lot more. Just gonna shoot them all, and I'm done.
Yes! And you guys are so fired! Sorry, but I don't have time to play with you. Whoa! Okay, I thought I fell. Anyway, let's go. But yeah, um, some someone named uh, Will the Pro has asked me uh, what kind of version I have played uh, at, at this game, and that was PlayStation 3 and PlayStation. And and um, yeah, I'm playing the PlayStation 3 version. You can buy that off in PlayStation Network, you know, PS Store, and or you can buy that at P in PlayStation 2. Both of versions are good. Like the one doesn't have as high resolution, but all the effects are still there. While the PS2 free version has better, you know, has up the quality of the resolution, but some of the effects are completely missed. Like it's completely gone. Like the mech, like the magma effects, or maybe some other like lightning effects that have just gotten washed out. But it's still, but both of them are still very playable, and that's the that's the most important thing. Okay, it's just round one. Only round one. Okay, what should I use here? Like, I, now I'm just very picky about what weapon that needs the, the most upgrade, but I'm just very quick about it. Whoa, okay, that scorpion has com is completely disappeared. Maybe it's just me that has been doing some magic all this time. But yeah, that was it for the Dread Zone, and I believe that's it for this Let's Play part here, since there are much I can do right now. The next vi video is going to be is going to take place in the planet of Miraxis, a distant planet that is known to be from Jack Free. Okay, I don't really know that. So see you guys later at Red Gladiator and more. See you then next time.